Now actually, I need to put this much slack in this rope and tighten this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, taut line hitch on here. How are we doing this one? Yeah. So I can automatically adjust it. Going for the fill nut? <laughs> Oh yeah, I got cold clicks. Okay. So now we have an adjustable <laughs> knot here. I'm giving us some slack. Now, if you're buying a poncho, you always want to get the ones with grommets in it. Grommets are these round metal rings at the end. The poncho will be a little more expensive, but it's worth it. And this is just a typical military poncho with your hoodie. A lot of people try to tie this on here, but a quicker way, in case you have to get out of the area fast, is make a quick release. You take the rope here, make a little loop like that, put it through the grommet, and stick a stick through it. Holds real good. Another little tweak. The same thing here. I need a little more line so this prussic can move. So I have some line. So you stuff the main line through the grommet and put the stick through it basically? Yep. Hard going backwards, but we can do it. There you go. Now, here. Pinch it. Put you in a small stick and shove it through here. Now I can tighten the prussic up, tighten this line up, and we have our, our tent up. Now, <laughs> now we have to stake out the back of this. Now most people will say, well, this is primitive survival. We're just going to use a stick as our tent stakes, right? Why not? Well. You get a stick that's sturdy enough to go in the ground, it's too big to go through the grommet. Of course. Okay. Well, so what you say, well, I'm going to get a littler stick. I mean, too, 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 uh, too uh, fragile? So that goes through fine. The ground's hard, it breaks. Yeah. Now, you're carrying your poncho anyway, right? Why not carry with you a titanium stake? Titanium doesn't bend, they're super light, they weigh nothing, and you just put them in with your poncho. They cost about six bucks a piece, but for the weight and for the convenience, they're worth it. If you say, well, I'm going to be cheaper and use aluminum stakes, you can. They're bigger, but every one I used, this happens. They bend. Now, if you lose your titanium stakes, then you can mess around with getting a stick and whittling it down. But I just carry these three stakes with me, put them down. Stretch the poncho out as far as possible? Stretch it out as far as possible. Okay, now this is a basic setup, but it's not going to be good for me because it's sagging in the center here. I like a little bit of headroom. So, we could try to get a stick up in the tree and hoist this up like this, 
but there's another way. You take some 550 cord. We tie constrictor knot. Put it on the hood. coming off. On this other end, pull it to a higher elevation. Uh, uh, yep, we make a bowl line again. We're going to stick a stake through here. Loop that doesn't collapse. With this, I'll just use a stake. Take this down here like this. Now, can somebody get me a stick to prop here? Maybe about three foot long? Perfect. Maybe, yeah, this will work. Should we make a notch if necessary? Yeah, what I would do is I would make a notch in here or I'd actually guide this out two ways. But for demonstration, this shows you the principle to how to get this up. No. Here we have a nice area to sleep in. Now we're going to need to get six inches of debris in here. Pine needles, we have to scrape pine needles till we get six inches dry debris. What I would actually have done if I was sleeping here, I would use this poncho to go around and get debris and carry it here with this poncho before I put it up. So you have more debris and everything? Right, it would be easier to get. Into. So basically make your bed first. Make your bed first, yeah. Okay, so say we have our six inches of debris here. It's going to get colder than 55 degrees, so we're going to need a fire. We're going to put our fire outside here. They say there's two kinds of fires. There's a white man fire and a red man fire. The yeah. Indians used to say this. The white man fire? The white man fire builds a fire to warm the sky. The red man builds a fire to warm himself. So we want a red man fire, which is going to be a nice small fire. So here's going to be our fire pit. So a white man... Builds bonfires. Man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, for show. Sure. Yep. Indians for practicality. Now if we build a fire here, the heat's going to go all around. We're going to get a portion of it. So we need to build a reflector here to reflect the fire back in. Well, we could pile these logs, but let's make a stacked wall reflector. We need two sticks about this tall. Well, actually, we need four of them. Two here and two here. Yeah, we gotta make Straight if you can. That's good. One's good there. Good going. Okay. These are really perfect. Can we put those on the outside? One on the outside? Yeah. Put them there. Yeah, see if we can get two more like this. <clears throat> Just long enough. That was better. That was good. See, it turned kind of. Well, we can we can correct that pretty easily. Okay. Well, nice, nice slingshots here. <laughs> This one. We just put, put the, the y out, yeah. right? Yeah, put the y out. Now, let's get logs and put them in here and stack them up as our ball. In between? Yep, in, the, in between like this. So they're going to have to be at least this long. This long and we're going to go this way? Like one That's two, fine. Three and a half? No, uh, no use the whole thing. We'll, it'll just be longer. Okay. Okay. Yep. Good. You could pound these in stronger. 
Maybe we're sleep here tonight. Is this where someone's gonna sleep? Yeah, go ahead. Or are we gonna make another the other one? Oh, we're gonna make another shelter too. We're gonna make a debris hut. The one that makes takes two hours? Two hours on, on, a, on a good day. You know what we could do? If we had some 550 cord, we could lash those together on the top. Uh, pound that in a little bit. Yeah, how many more do you want? Is that high enough? Uh, no, we need to about this high. Strong wood right here. Oh yeah. Is it possible if I make some, if I can make something with this one after? After we're done. Sure. Okay. So watch this. Thing. Oh. Yeah, good I was going to use this one right here, but that, that one was better. Fifty, so we can tie lash these two together. Thank you, big. Too big. Guys, just to show you, I'm to tie these together real quick. I'm doing a cow hitch. You take your rope, make a triangle down like this. The cowboys just use this to tie their horses up. And it's just a quick way to get it attached. Is that a good knot to use when we're doing a snare? No. no. It's not a good knot to hold. It's a good knot when you want to quickly tie something up. Temporarily. Or untie. Or like that. Okay. How much more do we need? Well, this is good enough for, for our example. Yep, put it in there. So now we have our reflector. We make our fire here. Vic, is this uh, similar to what you're talking about? Yeah. Now, the main thing is, if you want to put some rocks here, you're going to put rocks only on the back side here because they're going to heat up and that's going to add to reflect heat at you. If you're using rocks by your fire, make sure you don't get them from the bottom of a stream bed because they might have water in them. If there's water in the rocks, when they get heated up, I'll push, I'll push the moisture they'll out. They'll turn to steam and those rocks will explode. They'll explode? Explode like a hand grenade with shrapnel and all. So you want to make sure you get the rocks from a dry area. At what area temperature? As the, as the fire heats up. Really? Yeah. I've never heard of that before. Well, bring that over. Yeah. Bring that over. Bring that one rock and I'll show you. So this, this blew up. Here. Here's a good example of a rock that was part of a bigger rock, but it's it a plate up. now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if this was coming at you at high speed, it'd be pretty dangerous. So. Really? I, I, I never heard that one. So now, if you're laying under here, you're going to want to get your firewood for the night, stack it up right, right over here. Because every 45 minutes, the fire's going to die down. You're going to wake up because you're cold. Just grab a couple pieces of wood, put them on the fire. On the cold? And go back to bed. The cold will reburn it? Reburn it. So if you had your six inches, eight inches of debris, you have this, this would be a nice shelter for the night. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. I want something long term. I want we're gonna do a long term? That'll be a debris hut. So why don't we find a spot and go do a debris hut? This is nice. Let me take